Yeah, all the bars. Okay guys, who's responsible for stripping the threads and the cam retaining plate on this L33 all aluminum LS? That would be this guy. Lots of cam swaps. Basically me getting overzealous with both the gun and the ratchet. Pulled the threads out. Hey, it's all on me. Right now it really only has one bolt securing the cam retaining plate and that's not enough. What happens is oil pressure will actually push past the plate. Low oil pressure, not good. Low oil pressure to the lifters allows them to bleed down and we lose power. Not a good situation. You can take a look at the other video and the cam swap and see exactly what I'm talking about. But this video is all about fixing the situation. So I'm gonna go ahead and tear this motor apart. We're gonna get access to the cam retaining plate and I'm going to fix it up. Hey guys, if you're new, welcome to the channel. But what happens if you have a question? Hey, I saw this video, but I wanted to ask Richard a question. Well, you're in luck, you get to do that. Join us nightly, seven o'clock Pacific Standard Time on the live feed. You can come on, join the group. If I don't have an answer to your question, chances are there are lots of bright guys, they might have an answer. So if you've got a question about any of the video that you just saw, or maybe you're working on a project, Join us live, 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, on this channel. So let's jump in, start taking it apart. Wah! Now we'll jump in and take off the water pump. So one of the things I do like to do is I take a siphon, I'm gonna drain the block down so we don't get any water leaking out of the water pump holes. So now we'll go ahead and pull the damper off. I got this big boy Milwaukee on here. This thing's been on and off a bunch of times, so it might not have been factory tight. So we've got our balancer removal tool. Uh-oh, got a wonky one. And we're off. So now we'll buzz off the front cover. Remember these two. Ta-da! So while I'm doing anything on the camshaft, I like to take all the spark plugs out so I can rotate the motor easy, so. So now we're gonna do the same to the other side. When you're taking the plugs out, make sure not to drop them. So to make it easy to rotate the motor, to get this thing at TDC, put the stock bolt back in. I've got a little washer here. So because we're gonna be playing with the camshaft, I'm gonna go ahead and unbolt the rockers and take the push rods out so we can spin that thing around without there being spring load on it. So now we jump in and take the rockers off. And you can see we've left one that would have spring load on, so I'm gonna go ahead and rotate the motor around and then we'll take the spring load off this and we can unbolt that one. Now that we're lined up at TDC, we can take the cam gear off. So now as you can see, we only have two bolts securing the cam retaining plate. These two are totally junk. This one's about 90% junk and is just kind of there to make me feel better. This is really the only bolt that's holding this thing in. And what happens is we get oil pressure, this plate will actually bend out and oil will leak out of here. And that's a problem. So 
So now let's take a look at the various holes here. So you can see this one is the good one. Lots of thread there. Look at this right here. Yeah, there's no thread. There's no thread. And there's no thread. That's a problem. Now we got a fix. So as you can see, we've prepped our patient for surgery. I've got something in the way, so if we drop any particles while we're drilling, we're gonna start off with the top hole. I think I'm gonna do time certs in the other three. This one will get a helicoil. There's really not very much room for the time cert there. So I think I'm gonna have to drill it out and we'll just put a helicoil in that one because the seal runs right across here and there's just not that much room. So we'll start off with a helicoil on the top one and then we'll go to the other three. You can see we've got our, this is our helicoil kit. We've got the drill bit also. We've got the tap and we've got the insert tool. We've got our helicoils here. So we'll start off with this bad boy. So now we'll go ahead and drill this out. Make sure you're straight. Now it's time to tap. Tappy tap. Got a little bit of oil on it. Make it go in nice. Again, make sure you're square to the bore. I want to blow this out to make sure there doesn't seem to be anything in there, but I want to make sure. All good. So now we've got our install tool for the helicoil. There we go, new threads in all four, new plate bolted on, all four bolts. Time to make some runs. Okay guys, as you saw from the video, I was able to repair the three strip threads on the camera retaining plate on my aluminum L33, and basically over tightening them, pulled the threads right out. That's much less of a problem on the usual iron block LS junkyard motors that I work on because you can tighten those really probably until you snap the fastener. <laughs> the block's not going to get hurt. But on the aluminum motors, easy to pull the threads out and I did just that. So what I did was we went ahead and did a helicoil uh, fix on all three of them. Originally, I was going to do time certs on them, but I decided, look, we have the helicoil out. It seems to be working on the first one. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then if I have to, we have the time certs in reserve, which by the way, a very expensive reserve because I bought all of that stuff thinking that I was also going to do the time certs. And those things are not cheap, but it's all fixed and it ran. And so the question now is, yeah, but you did all that, but what did you get? Well, the first thing, obviously, is less tangible. It's kind of hard to put an actual test on, but it does allow us to make sure that the camera retaining plate is secure and having that come off while the motor's running would really not be good. We would lose all of the oil pressure, which, which wouldn't be good. Obviously then catastrophic problems would happen. We would damage definitely stuff in the motor. You know, we don't want the, the camera retaining plate getting caught up in the timing chain and all this. It, it's just a recipe for a disaster. We don't want the bolts coming out and those getting slung around and you know, all kinds of bad stuff. The thing that I'd worry about most is the loss of oil pressure. And we saw exactly that even when the camera retaining plate was just loose. 
In fact, it had one bolt holding it, and the plate is fairly stout, but with enough oil pressure and enough surface area, we actually get a situation where we saw on the camera retaining plate, it would basically knock the seal out of one corner because one part would lift up whatever the weak part was that would lift up a little bit. The oil would squirt out. It would grab the, <laughs> grab the seal on its way out and then it would leak forever. So what I wanted to show you is besides all of that, what actually happened to the oil pressure curve when you fixed this because there was definitely a change. The problem is while we were doing that, I was also changing a camshaft. So I didn't run it with the same cam. So I don't have a back-to-back -back test on the cam while fixing the plate, which is why if you looked at the previous video that I did where we're comparing all of those little truck cams, the Truck Norris cam, the Chapacabra, the Summit cam, the Torquenator, and then the little little hot rod chop cam from Cam Motion. If you look at the other video, that's up now. But this is actually why I have to, I'll have to redo that test because we want to do it with the oil pressure and temperature, all those things exactly the same. And in that test, the oil pressure was not the same because we had this problem. But what I want to do is show you what happened when I cured this problem. So this is actually the oil pressure curve after we cured the problem. This was on the truck Norris cam from Ryan Tooley Racing, which is the one that we put in. And here is what the oil pressure looked like before we did that. So you can see, not only was it quite a bit lower, but it was kind of erratic. So <laughs> it was low, maybe it was leaking, and then it sealed up, and then it wasn't leaking. And so fixing the cam retaining plate, definitely a good idea, and now you know how to do it. Armature holder, please make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff, and I'll keep testing.